So I wanted to share something with all the women that have thinning hair and all the women that take minoxidil or biotin or medication or tablets uh, to grow hair. There's, there's, there's a side effect to it that a lot of people notice when they take it and then they're surprised they don't understand what the correlation is. So when you have thinning hair here and you take minoxidil, what minoxidil actually does is it actually stimulates more blood flow and when you have more blood flow to the hair follicle, you have more oxygen going to the hair follicle, more nutrition, and there's more hormones that are in your system. And it, and it might be the wrong hormones uh, if you are in menopause, because then uh, your progesterone estrogen is non-existent or very, very low, and your androgens are actually the hormones uh, that are dominant, and they have nothing to object uh, to them, and then they create havoc. and. They are the ones who, when minoxidil is being taken and uh, uh, roots and hairs get more blood flow and awaken from a dormant situation and you start seeing hair grow, well, you can't decide that the hair will only grow where it's missing here because what happens is it's in your bloodstream. And when it's in your bloodstream, it goes anywhere and any hair follicle in your body will be affected. So hair follicles of very fine hairs even that you have on your face, particularly around the eye, the sideburns here and on the chin and on the neck. Those hair follicles are also receiving more blood flow, more oxygen, and the thin hair, the very the peach fuzz hair, are suddenly turning into dark hair and into thick hair. And suddenly you notice you're in your 60s, 70s, and you notice that you have hair and it's dark, it's black. So this is the reason for it. So because the minoxidil or the biotin or tablets, other medications that women take, uh, to stimulate hair growth, this is exactly what happened. So, so know that it's a normal, it's a normal condition. It's a normal condition when you have uh, when you have uh, hairs uh, on your face when you take hair growing uh, products. And this is something that you have to weigh. You, you know, do you want to get facial hair? Do you, do you want to get facial hair? Uh, and grow hair on you on your head, but if you get fresh hair, you know, you know that you have to do laser hair removal. So you have to weigh: will you get hair where you don't want to get hair, but you will have a full uh, set of uh, uh, hair on your head, which is fine. But then you have to take the consequences that you will start getting hairs on your face as well, something that you didn't have, because that's exactly what happens now. Should that be the case, and you listen to this uh, to this information I am sharing with you right now, and you are somewhere in South Florida or you are somewhere in in in, uh, in Georgia, uh, uh, I have clinics in both places. I do this over 40 years, so you give me a call because I do laser hair removal and I do electrolysis, and um, I can help you with getting rid of the hair on your face. But just wanted to share this information with you. Guys, if you like the information, I ask of you something. I don't care if you subscribe, don't subscribe, doesn't matter to me personally. What I ask of you is share the information because nobody will tell you these facts because the majority of people really don't know and the ones that know don't care. So share this information, repost it, share it with other people that might learn and might understand something from it, okay? Thank you, bye, Eva. Oh, my number is 305-864-3333. 305-864-3333. Ciao, Eva.